Control Alt Shift is an international dance project which is about conveying important messages around HIV AIDS. Young people from London and young people from Namibia will be able to meet and collaborate through dance as an art form. All gay men should be tested to see if they have HIV. Oh. Agree or disagree? <laughs> Think if you're going to test just gay men, that's too, like, you know, aimed in on them. It's like, if someone's going to be tested, test everyone. Um, why has it got to be specific to gay men? You know, shouldn't everybody be tested? Yeah. Yeah. In the workshops, we start off trying to look at the kind of different attitudes and values there are around HIV and other sexually transmitted infections. So we read out some statements that kind of hopefully challenge the young people to think about how perhaps it might not be their point of view, so they might not think that all people with HIV should be put on an island and kept away from the rest of society. But there are some people with those sorts of attitudes and values out there. Does anyone else want to just explain what this might be and an idea of where this might, where this might go? And then, of course, there's a condom demonstration. And, of course, we, we talk to young people about where they can access condoms. I find the HIV class really funny because <laughs> It shows everyone different understanding of sex and how you can catch HIV and stuff like that because people are kind of bit, being a bit timid knowing about, knowing about it even more and you have people who are confident talking about it. So I find it quite educational. I think the sexual health workshop really had an impact on them in having more knowledge about it because I think there were a lot of dark points, like they didn't really know what it was and how to, you know, how you can catch it and how can you not and that, that there, there are still stigmas around it and things like that. I think that was really interesting to have something coming from outside, you know, to really like feed them in their creative work. Now what I want you to do, I want you to create a phrase. It doesn't have to be, I want a phrase of quality and not a phrase of quantity, yeah? It can be short, it can be not too long, okay? Think about how you can mix Crumping and body percussion, yeah? Think about the pace, okay? Like you said, fast can be happy. Storms can be angry. Um, other sounds can, you know what I mean? Like that your sound is actually creating an atmosphere. Um, basically, we decided to focus on a few different topics. Um, first, first, we've been looking at the idea of time. So we start from the point of someone who just got tested and has HIV. How does time occur to you when you've got this type of illness? And then we've been workshopping a few keywords with the young people as well. If you had to die tomorrow, what would you do today? You're going to be making a noise. Which one of you is to make noise? Uh, yeah, so five. Six. Are we going to make that noise? Yeah, make that noise. Five, six, but, uh, dancing. Yeah, is I don't know. It's how we express ourselves, and a lot of young youths love to come, love to like come to a, a show to watch people dancing, and if they know like what the theme is about and what we're doing it for, and they enjoy what we're doing, they probably might just take it on a bit more seriously. Silence is an absence. <laughs> We've been working with poems, kind of abstract poems, who are leading us through the show. Silence is profound. Silence in the conversation. I think like we should all buckle up and try to think, open our minds, not being so small-minded and thinking, oh, if I go next to that person, I'm going to catch it. So I think everyone's being a bit negative towards people with it. If I didn't have the knowledge that I had now about it, I think I'd probably be the same as how other people are. Being happy about sound.
My name is Dane Hurst and I'm from South Africa and I joined Phoenix Dance Theatre in uh, November 2007 and uh, my role in this project uh, is as choreographer. The theme that I'm working on is about um, how people in society uh, react to, um, to something like AIDS, you know, uh, what position they take. Hi, my name is Sally Hawkridge, I'm 17 and I'm from Leeds and um, I'm with Banu Youth Dance Company. Well, I'm the, um, the person with the HIV and the AIDS, <laughs> so I'm kind of alone and I'm just doing like different motifs to represent, like, um, like I'm splashing the blood on me and stuff to represent that I've got that. And then, I hop, and then like, I pick the ball up and put it to them, but I've got my head down, so I'm like, kind of shying away from them and they're like, just not wanting to know and they're just staying back. Back in the day uh, when people had leprosy, in, like in Greece, they used to send the lepers off to, a, to a, an island and just left them there to rot and die. And then later on, doctors started going over priests and they, you know, came together. Like at the moment, we have had the stigma attached to, to being HIV positive or having AIDS. People kind of like tape it, you know, they're not really sure, can I touch you, you know. So in the piece, we're using um, references to that. Like um, from downstage, she walks towards the group, but then the group dispersed outside of her. So, so they don't want to get close to her. Three, four, five, six, seven, Working on the project has changed my attitude towards safe sex because even though I would use protection, but now I'm more aware of um, what could happen if I do, so I'm more definitely like, likely to use it. The important thing is educating the new generation educating them to the, to the aspects of, of how you acquire um, this, this uh, terrible disease. So um, doing these type of things, uh, it's, it's, um, it's great. It's creating all overall awareness and it will probably make um, those people who do have HIV or AIDS feel more, um, feel more, more included and not, and not excluded from society and um, the world in general. My name is Flex and I'm working alongside Skittles as choreographer and dancer and the piece um, just basically goes through how easily it is to pass HIV on to person to person so the piece is about um, like transmission and transportation of the virus. Dance is very passionate. I dance from, from my soul. So anything that I'm feeling, I believe that I can portray through movement. Hopefully it will bring a lot more awareness to younger kids, even people same, around the same age as me, because I know that I was never really taught about that. We was more taught like STIs and STDs and stuff like that. Not so much like the seriousness of HIV and stuff. I have to be grateful for the fact that I can dance, the fact that I'm healthy and the fact that I've been given a gift to, to tell a story like I am and to do that. So because of this, the piece that we're working on, I'm taking it so much more seriously just so that I can let other people open their eyes and not be so naive to the fact that you can still be healthy and have HIV and you, you can't just catch HIV by touching someone. My name is Philippe Talavera, I'm the director of an organization called Ombeja Yehinga, or OYO, which is in Namibia. Alone is about discrimination, it's about discovering that someone in your community is different and deciding to reject this person 
after some time, it's also to realize that it is wrong to reject people and that actually you should accept people for who they are. My name is Nyande. I'm 23 years old. I come from a small village situated in the north of our country. I had a friend and his father was HIV positive and passed away. Everyone they didn't want to do anything with him. Everyone tried to, even we were schooling together, but really you, you could see that he was left alone. Most of the breaks you can sit alone there and those things. So basically we separated from him. A few months later, uh, it, there was a project about HIV and AIDS, and we went together to that project. And finally I understand the situation, because I was thinking when his father is HIV positive, he is also HIV positive. So when I understand really the HIV AIDS route, then we, we, we became friends. We are even friends now. He's now living in Windhoek. He's studying at Polytechnic of Namibia. So a lot of people don't want to have anything to do with HIV and AIDS. It's still associated to images of death and it's scaring people off. So when they know that somebody is HIV positive, they just don't want to deal with it. They just don't want to talk about death. Brace yourself, because this goes deep. I'll show you the secrets, the sky and the birds. Actions speak louder than words. Stand by me, my apprentice. Be brave. Clench fists. My name is Lydia Ndikwa. I'm 20 years old. I was born in Namibia. The title alone talks more about how people get to be discriminated and they got to be alone on their own without anybody on their side. Firstly, we gathered together as a group whereby we came up with the topic discrimination and we have some different ideas in our head whereby each one of us have to have homework. We go home and create some movements based on discrimination whereby the following day we come together and put the whole piece together. one of the relatives who was infected by HIV and AIDS and it is a sad thing to see how she was seeing a person how slowly dying you know and all the pain that she's carrying inside her and how slowly her body's disappearing you know um, yeah I did and it was kind of sad just to see someone is very infected by HIV and AIDS. So there is still a huge way and a long way to go but the good thing in Namibia is that it is a topic that we talk about. It's not something anymore that we don't acknowledge. It's not something that we don't want to face. We talk about HIV and AIDS. There's no way you can go anywhere without finding condoms, without finding leaflets, without finding information. So it's a topic that is talked with. It's a topic that is dealt with. And more and more people, especially young people, know about it. And hopefully, knowledge is not enough. They have to change behaviour, but hopefully it will come in time. My name's Jack Williams. I'm part of the Fuzzy Logic Dance Company. We're working on a piece at the moment based on HIV and AIDS, about the myths and rumours that are going around about it. My name is Zoe Golding and I'm the artistic director and founder of Fuzzy Logic Male Youth Dance Company who've been asked to create a piece for Control Alt Shift. The theme we're creating is based on myths and rumours of how you can contract HIV and AIDS. Uh, we've decided as a group to look at one of the most maybe common associated is that by touch, obviously a movement we could transfer this over. So we're looking at how um, the movement can be done with hands, without hands, and actually really playing with that through the contact work. Working on this piece definitely has changed my opinion of um, HIV and AIDS um, through the research which we've done. We all had set jobs and actually mine was to research it. And whilst doing my research, like, there was a lot of things which I didn't know before, which now I know and it has made me realise like, I really do feel sympathy for the people who have got it. <laughs>
yeah I see a place with little boys and girls to tap in the ocean not by the time at home Hey I'm Skittles I'm out here teaching um, some kids in Namibia for a piece for World AIDS Week. The piece is currently untitled, but we're, our theme is kind of we're starting with one person who's just had their HIV test and the kind of fear of actually having HIV. So they're kind of reminiscing about their life and how they've been living it. Good times, bad times, you know, and it will start off with them in that situation where they're, they're thinking about, thinking about, so they might feel angry or upset or regretful, whatever those kind of feelings are. Then it will go into the more fun times of life and at the end it will go back to that person still sitting so it will kind of start how it finishes. One year, I see a place with little boys and girls to, tap in. to illustrate our message through dance we've picked our music carefully with kind of lyrics and type of different feels of music. Um, a lot of our movement as well some of it is very gestury so that it's you can see more of the emotions and a lot of um, our gestures are to the words as well. type of dance we do is not it's not something that's easily accessible here so when we're teaching here the kids are just taking in everything and they're just really really on point and learning it like really really quick really impressed with how they're done things about control alt shift has been the fact that young people from different areas of the country have looked at HIV and AIDS and explored it in a different medium to perhaps what they would have done previously. I hope that people uh, really do shift their attitudes and I think if this uh, project succeeds that's what will happen. People will become more aware not only of what the issues are here for HIV but also in Africa and how important an issue it is for, for, for everybody right now. I've been hurt because I was different. Because of them, I killed myself. Feel guilty. We feel guilty for discriminating them. For me to see that um, these young kids are involved in this project, creating awareness in themselves through dance, and creating awareness to people coming to see that, it's just special, especially using young people, because they, in essence, are the next generation. It's something for them and it's something that they're communicating to um, a lot of people and they will carry that with them for the rest of their life. Because of us, because of us, she killed herself. They discriminated against me because I was different. We never, we never discriminate against people. I lost my family's love and support. We will always, we will always keep love and support. Because of them, I killed myself. Because of us, because of us, she killed herself. Let us make, Let us make sure this never happens again. Let us make, Let us make sure this never happens again. Because it's 
goes deep. I'll show you the secrets, the sky and the birds. Actions speak louder than words. Stand by me, my apprentice. Be brave. Clench fists. That's it. Turn the page on the day, walk away. Cause there's sense in what I say. I'm 45th generation Roman. But I don't know them or care when I'm spitting. So return to your sitting position and listen, it's fitting. And I'm miles ahead and they chase me. Show your face on TV, then we'll see. You can't do half, my crew laughs at your rhubarb and custard verses. You rain down curses, but I'm waving your hearses driving by. Streets riding high with the beats in the sky. All stare, eyes glazed, garage burned down, the fire raised For 40 days and in 40 ways But through the blaze they see it fade The sea of black, the beaming heat on their faces Then a figure emerges from the wastage Eyes transfixed with a piercing gaze One hand clutching his sword, raised to the sky They wonder how, they wonder why The sky turns white, it all becomes clear They felt lifted from their fears they shed tears in the light after six dark years Young bold soldiers The fire burns, cracks and smoulders Five years older and wiser The fires are burning on fire, never tire Slay warriors in the forest and on hire We sing, hear the strings rising The war's over, the bells ring Memories fading, soldiers slaying Looks like geezers raving The hazy fog over the ball ring The lazy waves, the birds sing A new baby's born every day Few men may be scorned today, but look at things the other way, cause it may well be your final day.